Or is it something you guys are like wondering why am I dressed like this it's because I'm just trying out some outfits for tonight's um suk out which is basically like a rave party kind of thing which I didn't really get to go since I don't know COVID and stuff and it's my first time so I'm actually pretty excited so yep but anyway that's besides the point I'm actually trying to pack right now as you can see everything here and yep I hate packing, so we are our flight is literally tomorrow. I'm actually flying off to Taiwan uh, with my brother and my mom, so I'm gonna vlog there as well. And my brother is back, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna flip the camera to show you guys what I'm packing, and then we will see. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm going to bring with me, just a few pieces. I'm, I still don't know what exactly I'm going to bring, but the first one is definitely this leather jacket from Reclaimed Vintage. So as you can see, there's this like black leather stripes that comes, that runs down here. And it's kind of in this greenish olive color, so it's not full black, if you can tell. Yep, so it's like a biker jacket with, obviously you can zip it up. Let me try. Yeah, it's going to be very, very warm and there is this tap here that you can do this. Okay, so I've just finished getting ready. I decided to just wear this very big top with cargo shorts. Yep. Okay, I'm just very lazy <laughs> to show you at the mirror. But, yeah. So I guess this is the look for today. And I'm going to bring some other shorts and another singlet as well. In case I decide to change later during the party. And yep, so right now we are a little bit late, but not too bad. And then we are headed to town for dinner before heading to Lauren's um, performance. But I will leave early as well because I have to go and so-called work a little. But yep, catch you guys in the car later and yep, show you guys more of the performance later. I don't know what to expect because I literally don't know any of his songs. So I don't know if there are any Lauren's fans out there. <laughs> but yep. Okay, so the late girl is here. Everybody. Nobody wants to fetch me. Nobody wants to fetch me. Yeah, so she's saying no one wants to fetch her because of like the traffic is very bad right now. So I don't know how true is it, but okay, hopefully it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll catch you guys at the dinner place and it's literally raining and like sunny at the same time. So that's how crazy the weather okay. is. Hello, so we finally reached Taipei and yeah right now we are in the convenience store um trying to grab like a light bite so it's 6 7 a.m in the morning so we are gonna get something before we head off to the city through via the train and stuff so my brother is my mom. Yep. And we have a lot of stuff which I'll show you guys in a bit. So <coughs> just a little bit tired because we didn't really rest well but yep, we're just gonna try to sleep in the train. <laughs> so we are buying mochi now, mochi. So we are going for lunch now and it's this vegetarian eatery which is quite cute actually. So I'm just gonna show you guys what they have inside. 
Okay, so we are finally going to check into our Airbnb at 4 p.m. and I literally just carried both luggages up a flight of stairs because there's no lift. But yeah, apparently our Airbnb is this one, so we're just gonna head in and then I'll just give you guys a room tour in a bit. Hopefully it's good. Because allegedly it looks good in the pictures. Oh yeah. my god. Okay, oh my god, we just realized it's another flight of stairs. <laughs> this one at least is not as worse as the, as bad as the MRT. Yeah, but I have to help my mom and me to carry everything up. And my luggage is like six, 16 kg and has like 13 or something. But yeah, just climb there. I just carry both. And then let's do this flight of stairs to bring everything up. Literally panting. <laughs> huh? My brother after carrying one, he's really dead. I carry both, I'm dying. <sighs> Literally. But we are done. The room looks good so far. So I'm going to give you guys a show around in a quick bit after we have clean the sweat and stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is like the main sitting area with like this sofa, and then here is our like. Bedroom area situation. Yeah, it's quite cute actually. It's like very Japanese looking with a nice balcony, which is actually very Korea looking. I think quite bright. Yeah. And then let me show you guys the rest of the place. So there's like the kitchen area here, <laughs> and there's you, and then there's two toilets, one here, and one more. So it's pretty big and nice actually, and it's not really expensive. So if you guys are interested about this place in Taipei, I will drop probably drop like the link or something of the Airbnb in the description box. Hey guys, so it's 6.30 now after we took a nap and stuff and yeah, we're actually quite lazy today so we're actually just gonna grab dinner now and then um, probably see if we still on a walk if not, we're just gonna head back early to rest we're gonna wake up early tomorrow to film some stuff like for IG and whatnot for me and my brother and yeah, I guess today doesn't seem very very interesting for you guys but yeah, I guess it's still fun because we had a lot of laughs because we're all very dumb and stuff. <laughs> but we didn't manage to film everything. Which I guess in a way that's good also because yeah, I wouldn't want to film everything. <laughs> yeah, but let's try to film more too. Morning, so it's um, 11 30 am in Taipei already, and it's everybody just got changed, so we are a bit slow today because my mom and brother slept in. We were supposed to leave house by 10 by the way. I work at like 9 ish, yeah, but I had a really good rest last night, so that's good. And yeah, so we're gonna head for breakfast, late, a very, very late breakfast. Uh, or maybe early lunch, I don't know. And at a vegetarian sushi conveyor belt 
um, situation thing which is very very interesting because we don't really get that elsewhere as you can tell I'm a little bit of a foodie but not exactly like a bit just a very little bit <laughs> okay and yeah after that we're going to head to Taipei 101 to do some shopping and I'm going to get my mother like a gift for her birthday so we're just going to pop by Kati to like get a ring or something so I'm not going to tell her yet or maybe she knows really I don't know but yeah anyway that's that and just showing you guys the balcony which is really really pretty and like the view of the old buildings juxtaposed with the newer skyscrapers is pretty cute as well so I'm not gonna let my family wait anymore we're just gonna head out now to grab food and I'll update you guys and catch you guys up in a bit later let's go so we are at the train station now headed to this place called Chong Xiao Tun Hua, so I don't really know what my brother wants to do there, but we're just gonna try to find a bike. And the sushi place that I talked about it closed down already. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. So there's a lot of people and my brother is very very blur to say. He almost brought us to a wrong place. To take MRT by the way. <laughs> so catch you guys with me on the MRT. Oh my <laughs> I already saw the hole, I thought my brother don't step in but then but then he already stepped into this cement part and now he's leg <laughs> covered in um, cement yeah I mean I, I almost stepped into it as well I didn't realize that it's soft I just noticed the hole and didn't want him to fall in yes another day another sitcom for the Yuck family <laughs> So my mother has abandoned my brother because she's like the jacket looks cute. So she's gonna go in. <laughs> and my brother is just left here. Oh, I like okay. you. Yeah. So my brother's cleaning while she's shopping inside. Alright, so we're heading into this store now called Juice. As you can see it looks pretty cute. And yep, see whether I can find any nice outfits for the events that I have for this one. But this looks very out there. Okay, the clothes are actually quite loud, actually. Yep, so we're just gonna head down. Probably there are nice pieces. Yeah, there's a downstairs. Oh, there's the shows here. They sell different breads. <coughs> wow. This is cute though. I know mm. Cute. Let's see what else they have. Billion dollar boys club. Mm. Nothing else really. So we have more pieces like collaborations with Comte Gasso. So it says ice cream. Brand that is collab with CDG. Pretty cute actually, but not exactly my style. I mean, unless you guys like blue. Okay, this is what we taste the fire.
Raymond now on the mall. As we say, so by the shop is quite cool and we can try to come here. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So let's see some of the pieces. Yep, that's quite nice. It's like a suit and a very casual material. Yeah, very nice one set. Yep. So if in case you like the blue hat, that's the green oh, and black. Yeah, and the blue. Yeah. And cute accessories. Yeah. Okay, so I just realized there's like this metal thing here, so you can shape the cap. So you cannot put it in, or you want to put it out like that. It will just stay, as you can see. So I guess I'm gonna get one of those quick. So the pants fit is actually pretty good. Like it's in my waist, it's not too loose. And it kind of still gives you like a nice back view, but it's not flat, flat. Yep. It's quite cute. Yep. I mean, maybe not exactly with this top, but I guess it kind of works as well. It depends. Yeah, I'm just gonna try on this. Sweatshirt that you see now, it will look pretty cute with these jeans. Yep. Okay, I think this is quite a vibe. I guess the color it's this greenish blue. Yep. And I guess you pair it with the jeans, it will look quite cool. Yep. And it's quite a nice casual. You know, heading to the library or cafe kind of vibe, and I guess you can because you can adjust here, so it's like a I guess how slutty you wanna be. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna wear it halfway. Let me know your thoughts on this. Yep, and it's quite casual, so baggy, so it's nice, I guess. Okay, so we are walking to. Taipei 101. Somehow in Taiwan, we are just walking everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. So we walked like 10, 14 over 1000 steps yesterday. <laughs> okay, but I guess it's good because we are eating a lot. But yeah, we're gonna go there to shop and yeah, getting my mother her Kate ring now. Hopefully, that's a size at this beautiful building. Yep. Okay, so we just reached Kate and Taipei 101. So we are just gonna pop in now. Take a look. Okay, so here we have this is Y Go. You can see. Okay. Yeah. This is the Y Go. Okay. 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 Mm. I mean, course right now in Taipei, this is quite a cute jet uh, sweater, but it's like $180 or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The place is quite cute actually, if you guys see. It's very different from Singapore and stuff. Yep, so we just basically shop today. Let's see. So the pieces, it's a bit more unique. Yep. So there's this, which is pretty cute as well. In a nice blue, red, slash orangey mohair situation, which I'm quite into these days. But for Singapore, I'm not too sure. And yep, the corn store here is really, really pretty. As you can see. There's another more high piece here. But all of the pieces are very like winter centered, which is not ideal because I really love to buy winter pieces, but there's absolutely no winter in Singapore at all. So I 
like that. Some pieces are quite cute, like these, for example. Yeah, if you pair with like just baggy jeans or nice baggy pants, it's cute. So there's the kind of green color jacket that my brother asked me to try on for him because he's interested in this. I thought it's quite a nice color. Yeah, and, and like granny-ish fit. So yeah, I think you can try it, I guess. But it's not like for everyday, everyday kind of thing because the color is quite popping, as you can see. Yeah, I guess it's nice. So we are at dinner place in Taipei 101. So basically, just choose what ingredients you want. And then, what else you want. And then, so just put it in this bag that you see. Yep. And then, there's vegetables that just place there and then just pass it to them to cook for you. Which is quite cute. So, we will see how it looks like later. Christmas picture. My mom is like a kid. She's already posing. So I'm gonna set the camera to show you. Very cute. Very vibey. and reach in time. We thought the tour was like 9.15 but then end up it's 8.45 so it was literally 8.30 a.m. my brother was still waving. So we managed to clutch at 9 a.m. and reach the tour. Now we have missed it and we were lost, very very lost. So yeah, we're gonna head up to the bus now. So uh, if you are interested, uh, you can also subscribe me. Uh, turn on all the <laughs> Hello YouTuber. Uh, you can check your space. In space shock or uh, work in shock or Zhongwen is Yue Ke Shock. Oh, 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 my mom's really excited and it's very very cold, I don't know if you can tell I'm literally in my ambush Nike windbreaker thing and it's still cold I'm gonna put my hoodie up but it's really really beautiful They insist on taking from the back. Like apparently this is supposed to be the queen's head, but like we are literally in photobombing people who are all queuing to take the picture. But my mom insists on photobombing. <laughs> She's just a bit tense. <laughs> so we are literally queuing to take from the back, but she wants to take like from the front, and then she wants to take from like the back of the picture. <laughs> Mom's a queen. So saying one of these looks like a princess head, and one of these looks like a. <laughs> I don't know which one also. So it looks, from here it will look like a princess. Like a little, this little thing, let me see. This little thing is her mouth. It's her hair. Okay, from here it looks a little bit more like it. It's not that it doesn't really look like anything. It's like view look nice. So we have reached Chaofa and Old Street. It's bathroom people and it's always raining. Apparently these are quite popular. And my mom's... Me, can you smell that? It's tofu. See her face. <laughs> so we're eating at this kind of like a restaurant eatery near the sea and I've managed to find the Spirited Away design by Hayoi Miyazaki. So I think one of the bathhouse is inspired by this building. And yeah, it's really very really, really cute, as you can see. For the left.
He really passed us a mic. Huh? I did a video of you. He really passed us a mic eh? <laughs> to sing and sing. <laughs> so we have to introduce and sing. We are very, very embarrassed. He's a vlogger, but he's a vlogger. He's a vlogger, but he's a vlogger. He's a vlogger. Hey guys, so it is day three today or day four? Is it day three? Day four <laughs> um, of our Taiwan trip today, so we are. Um, I don't know. This is like a free and easy plan. We were supposed to go to like the mountains, but I guess we got got a bit lazy because it's been really really tiring. We're like walking twenty thousand steps a day, so it's shack. And yeah, it's almost twelve p.m. now, and I just filmed some stuff, and I'm going to head out for lunch slash breakfast soon. My mom's like just I don't know, chilling by the sofa watching her like shows and stuff on iPad. And yeah, my brother's just <laughs> taking pictures and stuff. Yep. So we are gonna head out soon and then we will update you guys what we're gonna do today. But I think we're gonna head to like the temple and stuff to get some I don't know blessing thing for like studies for me and like for the rest it's like career and whatnot so we'll see how it goes and, and I'll update you guys in a bit bye bye <laughs> getting bubble tea now it's a really cute shop Okay, so we are back in Raymond's or Ramon. This is one of the jacket. <laughs> this looks like a skirt though. Okay, it's very a bit Balenciaga esque. The vibes, I guess. Just like that. So if you see from the back, it just looks very big. And then pair with the jeans that I bought from them as well, which is quite a nice fit. They look like that. Yeah, the top is also from them actually, which I just bought two days ago. Yeah, so it is a bit big, but it's still not so bad. Like, it's not super, super crazy big. Because the length is still nice. So it kind of gives you like a Balenciaga-ish vibes if you're kind of looking for it. Yeah, but I don't think I'll get it because it's not exactly... I mean, it's on sale. It's like 120 instead of like maybe 200 plus. But it's... yeah. I don't know how often I wear it, but I mean, if you like it, you can always come and visit and check out this jacket for yourself. On car hard, so we can go in and take a look. It's quite interesting design, and I guess it looks like there's a lot of clothes. So let's see. Mm, this is quite cute. I think maybe I'll check how much is it. Is this is this right on sale? No, right. <laughs> it is. If it's on sale, it's good. Yep. There are some pieces that are on sale. So they have the blue ones and the black. It looks a bit like a university varsity kind of. Bye. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and take a look at what else they have. They have like a sweatshirt that just says Carhartt, which is quite cute. But also this whole rack is on 30%, as you see. So here's some of the Carhartt sweatshirts, which is pretty cute actually. Yeah. I mean, the colours together look cute, I guess. Yeah. It's like a duck, if you can see by the way. This is more check it. And some backpack. Best. The 
some of the pieces here. I guess, I don't know if it's guys or girls, but I guess pretty unisexual. Yep, quite cute. A lot of these are quite cute. Huh? It's not like the usual pipe beast stuff. Yeah. This is quite a nice print also. This is quite cute as well. Yeah. I think we saw this in Singapore. This color. Oh, this is like the combi, it's pretty cute. Mm. This vest as well. There's like some Nike stuff as well. And here's like a denim range. Yeah. Okay, we're in hot springs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just waiting. I mean, kind of like air drying myself right now because the power that this, this stranger gave me is very small and I try not to touch myself with it too much in case of anything. I mean, although she's really very nice though, I have to say like the Taiwanese people are amazing. Like, they are just willing to help strangers. Even if you're like, asking for directions and stuff, they're just very kind and they will help you all the way. So yeah, right now I'm just waiting like for my mom and stuff as I, I'm, I mean, as I air dry. And yeah, there's still people here actually, it's a bit late. It's like 7 or so already and we're gonna head for dinner soon. And I don't know whether my brother has went for his bath. So I'll update you guys in a bit later and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we finally got dinner. It's pretty late so actually they kind of don't allow us to eat there. So we had to tapau, or like take away and so we decided, but we can't find anywhere to sit and it's raining so we decided to go to like Moss Burger. So this is the only thing we got. <laughs> and uh, milk tea and soy milk. And the rest is just our food from outside. Guys, oh my, my mom gave us a scare. Yeah. She was saying her kate was gone and everything. And we tried to find a whole place. And then we really couldn't find. We thought someone broke into our Airbnb and stole it. So where do you, how do you hit it? <laughs> <laughs> where? Inside this bag. Oh my god. <laughs> She keeps insisting, oh, she put it inside the luggage and stuff, and we keep searching, we search under the chair, under the bed, out, even at the balcony. Oh, thank goodness it was found. I think it's just better just wear it. <laughs> yeah, we're still checking the insurance really and seeing how to claim and stuff. Fuck it, it's found. Because the birthday is tomorrow, so it's very sad if you lose it today. How are they so cute? Just a birthday crap. Quick. <laughs> That's how we celebrating her birthday. We need to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite fragrant. 